If your website got ruined from the September 2023 HCU and continues to be butt spanked over this current update, basically, it's a bunch of spankings since the HCU. It's been a one nonstop bap, 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 bap. If that's you and your website, I wanted to throw an idea out to you and see what you think. It, it might be crazy. It might be stupid. But I want to throw it out to you. If you don't know, my name is Rob. I'm just some bozo that likes talking about blogging and SEO. I may or may not actually know what I'm talking about, but I like talking about it. I like the conversation. I like talking to you all. So if I'm your guy, if that sounds good to you, hit subscribe on this. I'm always talking about something. Maybe that's not a good thing. I don't know. So here's the here's the concept. Look, I, I am also one of those people whose websites got thrashed. I'm down over 99% on my traffic now from prior to the HCU. That's worse than a thrashing. Um, that's a rimming. I think I'm getting rimmed by Google. Maybe I don't know what rimming is. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Oh, well, I'm getting rimmed by Google. And there's this concept, you know, there's a bunch of people getting out of the bit. There's, there are people leaving blogging left and right. And maybe that's the right thing. It's probably, it's probably the right thing. But I saw something a long time ago, whenever it comes to business and that the people that are successful are oftentimes the people that are zigging while everybody else is zagging. I should look up and actually see who says that. You know, like basically like, well, whatever everybody else starts to do something, do the opposite, at least in terms of business. There's times when that's not a good idea, like driving on the right side of the road. Zig, let me see, zig when everyone else zags. Like there are some things that you need to follow the rules, but the power of zigging when everyone else zags. Well, it looks like it's like a whole thing. I'm not saying to do this, but with so many people getting out, with so many people abandoning the standard SEO whenever it comes to like Google traffic, going to other sources if they can go to that, or just giving up completely and moving on to something else. Like, is, do you guys think there's any value to doubling down on the standard Google thing? Look, it only pays off if something comes back that used to be, and that could very well happen. That's not impossible. We've seen some of that stuff. We've seen Google reverse. We've seen them reverse some stuff. We've seen them reverse some stuff in March. Remember all those manual penalties? And then they were like, oopsies. And a bunch of people got them that weren't supposed to get them. And they reversed that. They reversed the idea of the site-wide classifier. They've kind of gone to not talking more about like a page-wide classifier. And that site-wide one was just not that long ago. So they're known for reversing some stuff. If you're zigging and everybody else is zagging, everybody else is jumping off the sinking boat, thinking it's actually going to sink all the way. Is there value in staying on the boat? I'm not saying do it. I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm just saying it's interesting. Now, if you're somebody that likes blogging anyways, if you're somebody that just enjoys the process, you like having a website, you like being part of a brand, then maybe you don't care about the traffic. Maybe that you're somebody that just says, ah, I didn't make that much money anyways. I do it because it's a passion project. Then maybe you're going to accidentally zig while everybody else was zagging and that'll pay off. Or maybe you're somebody that just says, I think Google's going to fix this eventually at some point. Maybe it pays off then. Look, I know this is all nonsense. I know it's nonsense. It's ridiculous. But is it ridiculous? Everything that ends up being a big deal seems like it starts off as ridiculous. Think about Netflix and Blockbuster. You know, whenever... Netflix originally was offered to Blockbuster to buy. Blockbuster said, no, thank you. We know what people want, and it's to go into our brick-and-mortar store. They want to leave the comfort of their homes, even when it's cold, and potentially not have a video in stock. People want that. They passed on Netflix several times because they thought it wasn't something that was sustainable. They thought it was, they didn't think it was what the market was actually after. Now, obviously, they ended up being wrong. That was a sinking ship and they didn't know it. I don't know. If you're watching this, this video just got uploaded. I'm actually on holiday, but I wanted to make sure to put something out before the update actually ended. I'm thinking it's going to end this week. We'll see what happens. Let me know you guys' thoughts. Ridiculous? Stupid? Maybe sort of smart? I've been called sort of smart before. Not actually smart, but sort of. It's a compliment. I'll take it.
That's it. Thanks you all so much for watching. If you haven't already hit subscribe, I'm just some bozo that likes talking about blogging and SEO. Again, I may or may not actually know what I'm talking about, but I like talking about it with y'all. Thanks so much. Hit subscribe. See you on the next video. Peace out.